Hi everybody, my name is Brandon and I am one of the discussion leaders for session two and I will be moderating this discussion on Kristen. I know that I had a lot of difficulty reading this. It's very difficult to stomach this topic and what happened to Kristen as well as the other women and even the cats involved in the story is just awful. Uh, so I wanted to encourage everyone to smile and do something nice for a stranger today after reading it and we can get some positive energy out into the world and we can think critically on why this happened to Kristen and the other woman and how it can be avoided. One thing that I noticed when I was reading this article was that there appeared to be a lack of concern on the part of the judicial system. So the police officers and the judges and the courts. They all didn't seem to be alarmed at Michael's actions and so they dismissed them as being a non-issue. They even Lardner, Lardner the author of the article said that there is a lot of doubt put on men who have committed crimes and I feel like this is very evident in this story where people didn't feel like Michael was a threat and so they didn't give him the sentence that he deserved for any of those cases he should have been locked up uh, instead of the having the charges dismissed and in reading this I could think of two instances in our present time where similar events have happened, where someone committed a heinous act and got off easy because people felt like they didn't deserve that sort of punishment. And I, I guess you can imagine that the two people I am thinking about are Ethan Couch and as well as Brock Turner. So in the case of Ethan Couch, he drove drunk uh, when he was uh, younger and killed a family of four because of that and got a really short sentence because the judge didn't feel like he was a threat and that he learned his lesson and wouldn't do it again. Needless to say, when he was released, he fled the country and had to be brought back. And in the case of Brock Turner, he sexually assaulted an unconscious woman and he too received a very light sentence because the judge felt like he had learned his lesson and wouldn't do it again. And I only hope that they do not do these acts again. But those are just two examples of similarities I can see between Michael and Kristen's case and present day cases so this is something that is a trend that I think we need to all work together to address anyway I hope you all are having a great week so far and I look forward to hearing your discussions have a good night bye